What's up guys, it's Mark from Techstream, and today I'm going to be bringing you an unboxing and review of what could possibly be the best RGB mechanical keyboard for under $50, the Red Dragon Kumara K552 RGB mechanical keyboard. Now if you're new to my channel, don't forget to go subscribe and follow my Twitter at Techstream to stay updated between uploads. Now without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. So, this keyboard is actually a pretty big step up for me, and if you've seen my past videos, you'll know why. My previous keyboard is the Apple keyboard, which is kind of like a laptop keyboard if you ask me. So this keyboard is the Red Dragon Kumara Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, and it has RGB backlighting. So with all of that being said, let's dig deeper into the box. So right away we're greeted with some bubble wrap, which is kind of nice to see. and. I can already actually feel the keys through the bubble wrap. And, oh my god, they're so much better than my last keyboard. So let's see if we could get this open a little bit further. Alright, so right here we have the cable of the keyboard, and it's not a braided cable, which is kind of too bad because those are very nice, but the rubber cable is just fine anyway. And on the end of this, there is a um, gold plated. USB port with a cover on it, which I haven't actually seen a cover on a USB cable before, so that's kind of cool actually. Now, if we keep going and pull the keyboard out of the box, what we have in the box is what looks like a manual, and it just says Red Dragon Kumara wire Wired Mechanical Gaming Keyboard on it, and it says the operating instructions right down here. And then there's just a little piece of paper which says Red Dragon on it. So, oh, okay. So there's also a key puller, which I wasn't expecting, but that's actually kind of nice. Most uh, budget keyboards like this wouldn't come with that. So there you go. Now let's move on right into the review. Now that this keyboard's out of the box, I'm gonna go over it in a few ways. Those are going to be design and build, features, a typing test, the type of key switches, what I like, and what I don't like about this keyboard. That's a lot, but I'm trying to make this as thorough as possible for you guys. So starting off with the design of this keyboard with the power off, it comes in a fully black design with a red Red Dragon logo above the arrow keys on the right side. Yeah, it's spelled Redragon, but I'm just going to assume it's pronounced Red Dragon. Right. Back to the review. When powered off, there's only one other color on the keyboard, which is the clearish white letters and numbers on top of the keycaps, which let light through them. And these letters and keycaps actually have two aspects about them, which I consider worth mentioning. First off, they use a futuristic font, which I personally am a fan of, however it could be a very different story for any of you out there. Secondly, all of the figures on the keycaps are in the top half of them. What this does is that it both lets the light come directly through them as the lights are under the tops of the keycaps and it makes space for the other controls when using the FN key. Some of those controls include the 12 multimedia keys on the F keys. And something major worth noting about this keyboard is that it's 10 keyless, that being that there is no number pad, so keep that in mind. So then there's the design when the power is on, and let me tell you, this thing gets awesome. And also, this is the RGB version of this keyboard, and I need to make that very clear because there are two other cheaper versions. The first of which is just red backlighting, and that is the cheapest version. And then there's the rainbow backlit version. And you might be asking yourself, well, what's the difference between a rainbow and an RGB keyboard? Well, the rainbow doesn't allow you switch colors in between rows, so it does end up looking like a rainbow. The RGB version, on the other hand, has seven colors which are used all over the keyboard. So it's your typical RGB keyboard. But it actually has 18 different lighting modes, split up into six sections. And there is no software for the customization of these, but you can use the keyboard to customize itself. You have to hold the FN and insert, home, page up, delete, end, or page down. Also. I don't know any better than you do why they chose the names that they did for the lighting modes that are coming out. Just putting that out there, because they are really random. Anyway, get ready. First, insert gives you the trial of light, breathing, and normally on. 
home gives you ripple graph, pass without trace, and coastal. Page up gives you hurricane, accumulate, and digital times. Delete gives you go with the stream, clouds fly, and winding paths. End gives you flowers blooming, snow winter jasmine, and swift action. And page down gives you both ways, surmount, and the fast and the furious. Okay, yeah. That was a lot, and honestly, it kind of sounds like if you mushed all those names together, it would make a poem of some sort. Anyway, now onto the build. This thing is extremely solid. I mean, it seems like it was almost over-engineered to take a beating. And don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing at all. And that is due to it being constructed out of metal with ABS plastic keycaps. I mean, really, it doesn't bend at all as I try to flex it, and I'm actually trying, so I'm thoroughly impressed. Honestly, I don't expect this thing to break under almost anything you throw at it. Well, most of you at least. <laughs> now for some notable features that this keyboard has. First off, there are two flip-out feet on the back two corners, and while this may not be that unusual, the fact that it has rubber on them is. Even some keyboards multiple times as expensive as this one don't have rubber on their feet. This keyboard does also have rubber under the front two corners at all times. Now onto the next feature. Something cool this keyboard boasts is that you can spill a liquid on it and it'll just run right through to the exits on the back. Now I'm not recommending that you try this out at all, but maybe if you do spill something on it, you can rest assured that it will be okay. Then, this keyboard does have a Windows lock, which makes sense because it's marketed towards gamers. And all 87 keys are conflict-free and anti-ghosting. Now I'm going to type a little bit for you so you can see how this keyboard actually sounds. And just as a warning, it is pretty loud. The switches on this keyboard are interesting, and what I mean by interesting is that they're not your normal Cherry MX switches. What they're marketed as is a clone of Cherry MX green switches. However, the actual color of them is blue, so that can't really be right, and they have a tiny outmu under each keycap. So, the general consensus of the switches on this keyboard are that they're outmu blue switches, which are in fact closer to Cherry MX blue switches than Cherry MX Green switches based on their actuation force. Now in any case, they still do have a very tactile feel and they are real mechanical switches. So what I like about this keyboard is how much you get for the price. And at around $50 when I bought it, it's at about half the price of many of its competitors and even less than half the price of some of its higher end competitors. And you get full RGB backlighting, real mechanical switches, 19 different lighting modes including the customizable lighting mode, rubber covered back feet, 12 different multimedia keys, and a great build. And maybe it's even a little bit waterproof, however I'm not going to test it. So really you're getting a lot out of this keyboard. Now what I don't like about the keyboard, and first off, it doesn't come with any software for further customization of the colors on the keyboard. And that really is a bummer because many of its competitors do come with that, even if they are more expensive keyboards. And then there's no number pad, so if you're entering a lot of numbers and you need that, that could get in the way. And honestly, that's really it about this keyboard. You could argue that it would be nice if it had real Cherry MX switches, but that would also make it more expensive, so I don't think it would be worth it. So, why should you buy a more expensive mechanical keyboard? Well, unless one of the things I mentioned earlier is a real deal breaker to you, then you shouldn't. Because this keyboard comes with so many great features for multiple times less than many of its competitors and paying $50, $100, or maybe even more than that just isn't worth it. And this keyboard really could be the best RGB mechanical keyboard in its price range and that's okay because this keyboard is just really great. So I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it and working with this keyboard. And if you want to keep up with me in between uploads, don't forget to go follow my Twitter at TechStream with two M's, because I post randomly and I announce when I'm going to upload. So also, don't forget to go hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. 
comment on what your favorite feature of this keyboard was and if you would buy it, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload. It's been Mark from Textream, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.